Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will, and we are back with some more Genshin Impact today. And we are going to be continuing the story we left off on last time. Alright, hold on, wait. I am not hearing any sound effects. Or any sound coming from the game all of a sudden. Hello? Okay, well, we got that. Another sound effect glitch. This is like the third or fourth time this has happened. Let's hope it... The teleporting fixes it like it did before. In previous times this happened... I don't know how long this is gonna take us since we were like an hour into this story last time when we stopped <sighs> yeah Miss Hina doesn't usually do endorsements, but since it's Lady Guji that's asking, we'll see what we can do. With Miss Hina getting so popular lately, a lot of people have come to us hoping to do a collaboration. But Miss Hina's not interested in any of it. She still prefers to focus all her efforts on replying to readers' letters, and turns down every promotional opportunity she can. Maybe that's why her fans like her so much. <laughs> I, I'm getting off topic here. Anyway, if we can get that endorsement from Miss Hina, you'll definitely get an exposure boost at the beginning. May your light novel sell well and set a new record for the Yai Publishing House. We'll do our best. Oh yeah, I just forgot. We got another uh, email in-game that gave us a bunch of uh, Primo Gem because of the delay. Okay, adventure rank 10 or above. All right, let's see here. Can we do wishes today? Do we have enough for it? Oh yeah, we should. I think we're gonna go with weapons again. And did I ever select, yeah, lightning katana. We're just gonna do weapons again because I don't know, I just wanna I wanna see if we can get anything good. Oh god dang it. Look at that. So close. Alright, well. Budge, hopefully when we finish this up, we'll do try and do some other side quests that pay out. Are you sure you'd like to submit this entry? Let me see. The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler by Thousand Hands. What a strange pen name. Definitely your doing. Having been around you so much recently, Paimon's slowly starting to understand your unique tastes. What do you mean, strange? It took a lot of work by a lot of different people to get this thing finished. Don't you think it's a very descriptive pen name? We'll get this printed as a matter of priority, and conduct trial sales in pilot locations throughout Inazuma. I'll announce the sales numbers in three days. Uh-oh. Paimon's getting a little nervous now. Do you really think this is gonna work? Nah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right. Be confident in your work. That's exactly how a light novelist should be. Okay, then I'll sign you up. Please come back in three days for the results. Thank you all for your submission. I wish you the very best of luck. Wait, th seriously? Bro. Wait three, they're literally having us wait three days, okay. Hmm, I guess let's try some of these other quests then. Okay. 
that one should take up more than enough time. Plus it should pay out just enough. Of course to be able to do our uh, 10 drop, which we probably won't get anything since we like just got the uh... Five star, Jesus God, I am blanking on everything. This month has not been good. <laughs> Yeah, we just got the five stars, so I doubt we'll really get anything too great. But hey, maybe we'll get insanely lucky and get the one five star that I really want. <laughs> yeah, the background music is just not kicking in. see how far these are okay they all seem relatively close how do I get to that one Almost out of stamina. Come on. Yeah, it just seems like it'd be easier just to teleport to all of them rather than run it. Shortcuts. I think we can make it. This isn't great. Ugh, hate these boys and their bleed attacks. Leave it all to me. Yeah, 
Yeah, the big guy is going to be the problem. He's just super chippy. As per usual, unfortunately. I must leave no stone unturned. Take a few minutes just slashing his ass. Come on. Let the show begin. Yeah, let's just pop that. up a little bit there. Come on, buddy. Oh, thank God. I thought I just completely whipped it when he uh, disappeared there for a second. Correctly, there's gonna be some more story stuff happening down here that should be more interesting, hopefully, involving the chasm and I think the uh, two new characters that are gonna be coming out in the next patch next week. Hopefully, because yeah, you guys heard me talk about this. Like, the, this place is so freaking bland to me and boring. The only upside was the main story stuff that we did. Although the flashlight concept is interesting in that it is unique to this zone. We got some soup. It'll help you poop. Think fast, ramen. That should give us just enough. Let's see that four star. Motherfucker. <laughs> that goddamn bow and arrow. I swear to God, it's like three out of four times it's gonna be a bow and arrow or a grimoire. Shit. Oh, we got a Barbara, but I think her constellation's already complete. I think. Wow, that was actually a pretty good pull. We got another big buster sword, that bow, and Barbara. I don't think I have the these two fully upgraded, but yeah, that, should, that was eh. could have been worse. I could have just gotten one four star rather than. Two far, four stars plus a character. All right, let's see here. Did I have... Do I have everything for her constellation? I do already. Fuck me. Ah, damn it. 
so that sucks um actually let's go back in here and let's do the weapons enhance can i refine okay sweet we're level four that that was the last one we needed the final boost and it's now max nice got to sneeze <laughs> really good all right let's uh, check out the bow that we got oh it's this one it changes color it's already rank five man Okay, so we can just chuck this one. Oh, actually, we can... I just realized we got two of these. That is such a... That is the most basic-looking four-star. All the rest of them have at least, like, nice, like, uh body parts of them where like they're complicated looking somewhat but this one just looks so plain like this one looks more fancy than this one redunculus all right hopefully we'll be able to build up enough well we should be able to build up enough by the time the ninja comes and we can get her because the first new character is going to be the new water bow person and then for the second phase or second half it's going to be the uh, new ninja character and i believe the ninja character is a four star i'm pretty sure so i hopefully will be able to get her she seems super dope yeah i don't know how many days it's been in game maybe one Let's actually hold on. Let's uh, quest. I still have to wait three days. Boy. I think this is definitely the longest we've had to wait. Like... And it's super weird that you have to wait three days. I think the most it's ever been was like, wait until tomorrow. So having us wait three whole days is very weird. Okay, good. We, there was just enough time from our adventuring for that two day cycle. Overlapped into the third day, just enough. Booyah! Now let's go do some book stuff. I hate this game. They take such stupid directions in some stuff. It's like, oh cool, a god died, what are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna gather materials for a funeral rite, even though we're hanging out with said god, but we're never really gonna address it. Oh, awesome. What's this? It's a shrine maiden and we could could do like cool stuff with like ghosts or something or like ancient lore in the area since she's like super old. No, let's let, let's do like a book writing thing. Like who the fuck is coming up with these side quests? It's like, let's make these super cool characters that are like complex and could have really interesting and unique stories, but then do something extremely generic with all of them. Awesome. These fuckers. I didn't realize I just had to go down the stairs. I thought I had to go down to the uh, bookshop. Dingus. Although, tomorrow I'm looking forward to... Uh, you've all finally made it. Stranger Things. Yeah. It's coming out. Season 4. I'm gonna blast through that. As well as Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm not a super big Star Wars fan, but I'll watch it. Good news, everyone. 
I just received word that your light novel is flying off the shelves. Multiple sales locations are asking when we'll be printing more copies. Never. It's a one-time shot. That's great. Artificially makes scarcity. Boost the prices. That's my game. This level of success is an amazing accomplishment for a new work. Most new books don't sell 30% of what you've sold. I keep forgetting to hit, uh... <laughs> I have free copies for each of you here. Please take them. The payment will follow shortly, and I'll notify you to come and collect it when the time comes. Oh, yeah! The whole reason why we made this light novel was to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! We sold a lot of copies, but it doesn't feel like we accomplished your goal. How do we know whether it worked? <laughs> oh, don't worry. The change is already underway. Shh. Listen to what the people around us are talking about. The conversation has already moved on, hasn't it? Hey, guys. Have you heard about this latest Kaidon thing doing the rounds? You just need to recite the incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits at midnight, and your wish will come true! Oh, that? <laughs> That's a throwback. That's old news, man. No one's talking about that anymore. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune is the new hit thing. I've already memorized all the incantations. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune? What's that? You haven't read it yet? Okay, so supposedly, if you recite the spell in there on a moonless night, you'll receive protection of the Kitsune and all the other powerful yokai. They can make any of your wishes come true. I heard that the incantations in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits have weird side effects. This one guy wished for a load of mora and got it, but then one night, it all turned to leaves and he developed a high fever. They actually had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. That proves that the incantations in this book are more potent than the ones everyone was trying before. Pretty much everyone I know is desperate to try it out. Just waiting for a moonless night. Really? Well, I better go and prepare too. Well, feeling less worried now? Wow, you're right! Everyone's shifting focus! But what's this moonless night that they're talking about? Hyman doesn't remember that detail from the brainstorming session. <laughs> this is something that will become very important to us further down the line. All right, it's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. Eh? There's a phase two? Of course. Behind every book that hits the market lies an author, right? Oh, yeah. If we leave him to his own devices, he might just write another guide to summoning spirits! Also, we still need to figure out what his motive for writing it was! Exactly. That's what we need to take care of next. Fortunately, I've already managed to identify the author. He's a failed light novelist named Tomoyuki. But when we went to ask him about it, he had no recollection whatsoever of having written the book. It's that little Tanuki girl ninja, like 100%. It's gotta be because the guy that said that the Mora turned into leaves. Yes, this is another case of possession. Only this time, whoever possessed him actively sought him out. After his novel submission failed, he was walking aimlessly in Araumi. In frustration, he shouted out, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. After that... He lost consciousness. But the spirit that wrote the book has already left him now, right? So what are we supposed to do? Simple. It wrote a summoning incantation in the book, didn't it? So we can just use its own method to make it manifest itself. And you, my little friend, are the perfect candidate for this role. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? The fun's just about to begin. Yay me. Oh cool, we got our own book and it looks like it's got Paimon on it. Huh. Okay.
catch up. Someone needs assistance. I can't remember. Um, the island that we went to that was covered in fog. That was for... Was that for a writer or was that just for a researcher? I can't remember. Because we know quite a few writers actually. Looks like there's an actual dungeon. Nico, what is this place? The ideal spot for a little meet and greet with a certain elusive author. This is the place where we are most likely to succeed in summoning the spirit. Really? But it feels so eerie here. <laughs> that seems rather fitting, considering that we are dealing with the spirits of the deceased here. What are you so afraid of, honestly? We're finally about to meet the true author of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Aren't you excited? Paimon's heart is pounding, but Paimon's pretty sure it's not because of excitement. <laughs> Come on, in we go. Hey, wait up! Okay, I'm probably wrong about it being the Tanuki girl then. Whenever I hear something that's like shapeshifts or transforms and involves a leaf, I assume Tanuki. Oh, fuck me. It's level 90, dude. Well, that's not that bad, like, especially since we normally go up against enemies that are level 30. Uh, 30. Jesus, I wish. Level 93. So hopefully these guys won't be so bad. Yeah, between today and yesterday just feels like a lot of load time. What a weird painting. Miko, do you know what it's supposed to show? Hmm. Probably a scene from ancient Inazuma. It's a good piece of artwork and all, but it's also kind of eerie. So it's a bit scary. Hmm. Looks like the artist signed their name. Um, Rakusai? Hmm. It's not very clear. Let's go inside and take a look. Yes, we can finally get to play as yes, her. Right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Emerge. I can't remember what to do with these. Right now. Yeah. I love how it says it's level 90, but all the guys in here are 92. Awesome. Come on, we can do it. What a nuisance. Yeah, this isn't a good sign. Even like the story version is having difficulty fighting these guys. Right here. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck those are supposed to do is it just right now okay that's okay that's what it is those boosts are damage i guess of our regular attack i haven't used her i don't think i've used her in a very long time Ah, I see. Huh. 
This setup is quite handy. Saves me a lot of work. Oh. All right, go and take a look around. There should be a mechanism somewhere that makes the whole room move. Look at that. Wiped his ass out so quick. has been activated. Okay, so we have to use electric on it. to disappear or if they just disappear when she leaves oh wait wait shit they're you're supposed to use electric guys here but they're just getting their asses beat i must leave no stone unturned all right there we go oh my god why am I having difficulty with these boys? Let the show begin. Leave it all to me. Nice. My cabbage. I don't know how much purple paper I have left. I feel like I haven't spent any in a while. Just because I haven't really leveled up anyone past their limit. In quite some time. She is like super delicate. Like two hits and she was Dunyan rings. Shit, son. that one up. Alright, all of them should be lit. Yeah. 
Oh, there it is. Just needed to be moved down a little bit more. It's weird. Now reflect in the mirror. It's getting eerier and scarier. What is this place? Moon goddess, maybe? Okay. Next I will show you a secret Kitsune spell. This painting is a swift summoning medium, which means I'll be able to skip many of the more tedious steps. The murky mirror reflects the view of Inazuma in a bygone age. Spirits stirred by the sight of the past will be easily drawn to it. You're up next, little one. Come on, sit yourself down here. Yes. The whole point of a summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. You saw what happened to that Oni samurai spirit. After leaving the host's body, he was only able to maintain his form for a very short time before disappearing. Positive that summoning a spirit to possess the traveler isn't gonna have any lasting negative consequences? Oh, you really care about the little one quite a lot, don't you? Hmm, I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. <clears throat> anyway, are you scared, little friend? Don't you worry now, it'll be over soon. Just think of it like having a dream. Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. But try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. Except for some freaky shit that's about to happen. I know it. It's like he's sitting inside the painting. Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits? Anyone? Um, probably something to do with writing? Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt, though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. The book is selling exceptionally well, Traveler, but we're going to need an outline for Chapter 4 as soon as humanly possible. When is the earliest that you can turn it in by? The painting is moving again! What the... See, they keep doing this, where it's like... Art, like a good chunk of this story is boring, but then they'll like end it with something interesting. Like with Eyes slash the Shogun's story was like fairly boring through most of it, but then like the ending fights were really dope. <laughs> I never thought the day would come when I'd be summoned using my own ritual. <sighs> Getting a taste of my own medicine. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Why is everyone wishing for help with their writing? Are novels so popular in this day and age? We got you! So you were the one who wrote a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! What are you trying to do, hmm? Why'd you put that summoning incantation in the book, huh? What's your game here? Huh? What's this? Oh... <laughs> I see. No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was to use this incantation as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai to make their glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war. What? Paimon knew it! You had an evil plan all along! Oh, did you now? Then how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. 
I sense, yes, great power within him. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. Good. With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way. Probably should have put Paimon on the pedestal. <laughs> Wake up! Quick! Wake up! We gotta stop him! <laughs> it is futile. You shall never wake him again. This body now belongs to me! Hey! Come on! Wake up! Don't let him take your mind! Miko! Think of something! Miko! Miko! <laughs> <laughs> it's an old friend. Um, you're laughing? <laughs> oh, Rakusa, you haven't changed a bit. You caught on so quickly. Too perfect. <laughs> well, you made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? Never one to stand on the sidelines of a good spectacle, are you? Always got to dive in and fan the flames, ah, huh? you mischievous little kitsune, you. Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Oh, poor thing scared witless. <laughs> you were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? Urakusai? Miko, you guys know each other? Yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, Urakusai. Uh, no, wait. To be more accurate, it's Urakusai's memory. Memory? But isn't he a spirit? Ah, spirits, memories. They're just different words to describe the same thing. Something that comes from the ley lines. Do you remember that recent incident when the Rift Hounds were gnawing at the sacred Sakura's roots? You witnessed human memories leaking from the ley lines, didn't you? Well, since there are human memories, of course there are going to be yokai memories too. In life, yokai possess supernatural powers, and even when they are a shadow of their former selves from a bygone era, they still have the ability to control whether they are visible or not. Typically, yokai memories survive longer in the world than those of humans. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I was wandering around the sacred Sakura's roots when I suddenly heard someone yelling, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. It piqued my curiosity, so I popped inside his body and wrote a novel for him. So that's how it happened. You include a summoning incantation in the novel. Oh, little one. Not to toot my own horn here, but when I was alive, I wasn't just another Kitsune, no. I was a mighty and powerful Daioko. The memories of other yokai can't possess human bodies at will like I can. But with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world for a couple of days. Anything they're still itching to do, they can go and get it done. Uh, but... But... She's trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Disturbance? <laughs> I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands, given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we enjoy. As for those who would rather draw on external power than seek to improve themselves, it's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. So when you think about it, we're actually doing the humans a big favor. Miko, you agree, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought too. All right then. You finally convinced Paimon you guys were right. What are you scared of, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. 
Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. Hmm. Not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Hmm. Of course. You were never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. I knew you must have some ulterior motive. You were always the one to pick a quarrel with me when we all used to gather around and share stories. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Ha! <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. Hmm. <laughs> I remember when you were just a little girl, always hanging off my shoulders. A few hundred years later, and you're all grown up. Oh, Urakusai, how much time do you have left? Hmm. <laughs> Not much. That goes for all of us, actually. We've all got to go back where we came from in the end. Everyone's quite content in many ways, but they still can't help but ask. Are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Urakusai. Arrangements are being made. When my bell rings, it means the moonless night is upon us. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Miko, it's been nice catching up. But I'd better conserve my energy if I want to stick it out until then. So, I'll be on my way now. All right. Goodbye, then, Urakusai. One last thing, Miko. I just want to know, have you been well all these years? I've been great, of course. Every day is a happy one. Especially these days. Not only do I have my light novels, but I've also met these two delightfully nosy outlanders. And even A is finally starting to come to her senses. Quite a miracle, given how pig-headed she can be. Oh, well, great. That's fantastic. Urakusai, you'd be right at home in this era. A great storyteller and artist like yourself would be the Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. And I would personally be hounding you over your next installment. <laughs> There. Here, like last time, repeat after me. Oh, you beat me to it. Looks like your brain is intact. So, your first possession, hmm? What was it like? <laughs> Good. Saves me from having to explain everything again. Hearing Rakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. Yes, though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold when the time comes. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hmm? I'll need your help with the ritual. You cannot be serious, Miko! After all that, you still have more errands for us? Huh! You guys teamed up to scare Paimon just now! If you think Paimon's gonna do anything you ask for, think again! Aw, oh, come on. I'm really only asking you to finish what you started. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> Paimon's paycheck? Uh, well, there's no way out now! We're in too deep. It's completed. Huzzah. Actually, wait, how many sigils? Did we max out the tree, the soccer tree? I can't remember if I ever got around to do that. Oh, food. Should go check on that.
Perfect. So having us go right up to the tree anyway. Yeah, that was a bit disappointing. Just like the Shogun one, where it's just, it had to deal with spirits, but then it was just like, kind of like, okay. Oh, do you remember that time with generic childhood memory? Ah, uh, yes, good times. All right, let's see here, what do we got? Well, hello there, my little helpers. So nice of you to join me. Huh. As if we had a choice. We just want our paychecks. So, Nico, hmm. what exactly do we have to do to make this Hiyakiyako happen? Yeah, by the way, playing as her was pretty disappointing. Even though I did get used to her play style, she is so freaking squishy, it's ridiculous. Like, two hits and she was almost dead. Also, to be clear, we actually have no idea what it even means. It might sound ominous, but to put it simply, the Hyakiyako is just a gathering of the yokai. Back in the day at yokai gatherings, once everyone had had plenty to drink, one by one they'd start soaring into the sky with their yokai powers. There were so many of them that their silhouettes would block out the moon. But now, the yokai memories that leak from the ley lines are weak. They are no longer able to fly. Okay, so in traditional Japanese lore, like yokai are like demons and they'd always come in like various shapes and sizes so i'll be interested in seeing how they display it here i seriously doubt it'll actually be like what traditional japanese yokai look like it'll probably just be just like a bunch of twinkling lights and they'll be like oh, they're all spirits or something like that just so they don't have to actually you know make models of unique looking characters so I will be performing a convocation ritual for them, gathering all the wandering memories together in one place. And or they'll just use regular background characters as spirits or something. This game's really set a low bar for itself in like the last, I don't know, few months. I do not know why. When the time comes, they will gather in the sky above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Once their energy is spent, they will be satisfied and return to where they belong. All the preparations for the ritual have actually been made well in advance. Remember the incantation and the mention of Moonless Night that I added to our novel? Oh yeah! Something about reciting the secret spells of Lady Kitsune on a moonless night. That's the one. Actually, it's not a wish-granting incantation at all. It's a spell to help calm the ley line memories. When that time comes, let's all pitch in and help send them on their way. I will start the ritual preparations shortly, and at that time, I need you to do two things. First, tell the shrine maidens to leave the mountain. During the Hyakyako, a whole swarm of yokai memories will be hanging around in the air above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Having the Shrine Maidens leave avoids the bothersome issue of someone potentially getting possessed. Okay, see, this is cool. Let, like, let's go along with this storyline. After that, I will commence the ritual, and the memories will begin to congregate. This will take some time. The memories are normally dispersed and don't pose a threat. But when their energy is concentrated, it is likely to disturb the monsters. I honestly feel like sometimes with these quests, it's like more than one person writing it. Because sometimes it feels like it's not like they take a right turn out of nowhere. It's just like certain parts just become dramatically way more interesting than the previous parts. They may see this as an opportunity to try and make it up the mountain. I need you to fend them off so that that doesn't happen. I mean, our quest for the whole time could have just been well we need to like help with this ley line ritual so we need to like write this thing and like have it passed around 
So it's like, if we knew the end purpose of writing that book, it probably would have made those earlier missions a bit more interesting. Rather than, oh, it being slightly more interesting in, like, hindsight. <laughs> Hmm. Well, if at that point you felt like coming to the shrine and getting a close-up view of the yokai, I wouldn't say no. Okay, let's get going! Mm. Let's check this first. Oh, so close. And I believe that's the last level up, too, we need. Oh, we just need three more. When we complete this quest, it might it's probably gonna give us the three that we need. Kia. Descend the mountain? Are those Lady Gucci's orders? she's gonna perform soon might pose a physical danger to you all. I see. I'll evacuate everyone right away. W what about you? We'll be taking care of a couple other things for her. And once we're done with that, we're gonna come back and do the ritual together. It seems like Lady Guji places great trust in you. Lady Guji's never allowed anyone else to be in her presence when she's conducted rituals like this in the past. Thank you for helping with the ritual, and good luck. Don't worry, we're much stronger than we look. Nico's about to start the ritual. Come on, let's go deal with the monsters down the mountain. It's probably just going to be hilly trolls. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> Freaking camera wasn't panning down fast enough. Now we wasted our one revive. <laughs> All right, so we got maybe something unique. Look really riled up. Yep, yep. Let's get rid of them as fast as we can. Then we can get back in time to see the yokai. Lame. All right, here they come. <laughs> I must leave no stone unturned. Time to clean up. I can't tell if this sword is actually made a significant difference with the percentage boost that we got from uh, just leveling it up. That one extra bump. <laughs> Probably not. Ah, I think so. Leave it all to me. Huh. 
perfect going somewhere. Oh, these ranged bum holes. Whenever I see like crossbow guns like these guys are using now, all I can think of is Yozora from Kingdom Hearts 3. And wondering about that storyline. Uh, I can't wait for the next Kingdom Hearts. And for them to explain some shit that they left cliffhanger at the end of 3, especially the DLC. There's just like a few lines of dialogue in that that just drive me fucking crazy where it's like, well, what the fuck does that mean? Kind of stuff where it's like it's vague kind of or it's just like You're saying words and it's in a cohesive sentence, but it's just like nothing but questions <laughs> Nothing but questions Yeah <laughs> There you go. Wow. There is quite a few. Wow, I'm surprised that they went to a fourth round. But yeah. Bit disappointing. Dude, don't introduce, like, saying yokai if it's just gonna be the regular dudes. Just say it will be like, oh, the spirits of like the hilly trolls and other monsters in the region will get all riled up. Rather than calling them yokai, because yokai actually look interesting for the most part. And then just seeing the regular dudes is just kind of like a bummer. Someone needs Come on. There we go. Wait, what? Oh no! We hit the water for Tui woman just up the hills, locked onto us. All right. I hope we just pop on through this. I need to train harder. Hello? No! Ah, oh, fuck. This plib just fucking respawned. Ah. Dingus, we were like barely down the road, boy. Watch your step. Don't hold back. back. See, this would be a perfect instance where it's like very on some occasions like they have you do a quest and when they want you to return somewhere they kind of just like fade in and fade out and then like you're back where you kind of started at that would have been helpful for like some quite a few of these quests where it's like go way over here to fight these guys cool now you have to go all the way back it's like it's not far but at the same time it's just like far enough away to be a bit tedious to get back if you're not teleporting it's like just why don't you just automatically teleport us since it's part of a quest and it's not like there's no story beats on walking back or anything oh shit actual cutscene wow so many they're everywhere oh what's that they're just yes. twinkling lights they haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. Come with me. You all right, little one? You look a little nervous. It's just, Hyman's never seen anything like this before. Whoa, they've really blocked out the moon. It 
does look a little intimidating, doesn't it? But I know them. They may be loud and brash at times, but they are good and brave souls. Even after losing their lives in a brutal war, they have never given in to grief or despair. Alas, their time is short. All that they were just going to be spirits. <laughs> Feasts come to an end. <laughs> Since you're sorry to see them leave, why don't you do the recital along with me? Oh Hakushin, cause of this enchantment, in reverence I perform this rite. In reverence I perform this rite. To be a guiding light. Golden bubbles. That's a dope shot. The book says, recite the secret spells of Lady Kitsune tonight, and our wishes will come true. <gasps> oh, Hakushin. Cause of this enchantment. I perform this right to be a guiding light. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. Kusai, you asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. But watching you all leave now, I can't help but feel a little lonely. Mm. Just a little, of course. Nice. Hmm. Just as I thought, the ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Hmm? Oh, I'm great. But the look on your face just now... I'm fine, seriously. Really, I... No. Oh. Honestly, you two. Hiko! Fine. Well, if you're dead set on doing something for me, you can treat me to a meal. Sure, no problem. A meal it is! Okay. Well, see you soon, then. All right, it's following day. I'm pretty sure I completed this. Yeah, I completed all of that. That's... Uh, right. I'm hungry. Let's hunt. Oh, damn it. It's like just past midnight, so I think we're going to wait the whole time and see. I don't think it's worse when it like just passes midnight, so you have to wait a whole extra day, basically. Or to count it. Today is the day we agreed to treat Nico to a meal. The venue is Uyu Restaurant. Let's go! Thank <laughs> you. 
Honestly, I was partially expecting it to be the tea house that we usually met the resistance people at. Wait is unbearable. How is the next chapter of the miraculous adventures of the Traveler not released yet? It was quite a surprise when the moonless night finally came. Yeah, that huge black cloud over Mount Yogo that night. It just seemed to form out of nowhere. But then nothing happened after I made a wish using the method in that book. Yeah, I guess like novels are just fiction after all, huh? That night was definitely the nail in the coffin for the incantations from novels, Fad. Still, something tells me the miraculous adventures of the Traveler will remain an interesting series for a long time to come. Huh? Hyman can't see Miku anywhere. Guess she's not out here. Uh, maybe she went inside already. Let's head in and look for her. actually surprised this is this is taking us over an hour although to be fair we did do that one side quest which that probably took up about 20 minutes to do so yeah this this whole quest is like rough almost about two hours long to do huh my little friends there you are Nico what is this you started eating without us? I did, yes. You're paying, after all. The thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake, all for absolutely free? Oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. Ah, boss, see these two faces here? Remember them. They're the ones picking up the bill later. All righty. Uh What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. You have to try this fish. It's found exclusively in the waters around Seirai Island. They shipped it to Inazuma overnight, and it was still alive right up until I ordered it. Or maybe you'd rather try this? I know, I know. I normally can't bring myself to drink sake this expensive either. If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine too. There are all kinds of fruit juices covering the whole price spectrum. Nico, you were outrageous. Last time we were here working on the novel, all you ordered for us was the plainest kushikatsu. Hmm. Strange. I remember no such thing. Oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, didn't you? Anyway, I am something of a VIP, you know. Wouldn't you find it embarrassing to treat me anything short of lavishly? Miko, this meal is going to be super expensive! Aren't you afraid we won't be able to afford it? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. Uh, what? Come on! Darn it! She tricked us into this! Miko was after our Mora from the very beginning! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the looks on your faces right now. Too perfect. <laughs> oh, by the way, since nobody's wishes came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. The deadline is looming. I'm counting on you. Welcome to e Dang it! Dang it! Oh, I was hoping we'd get that those three more uh, bits that we needed. The three more uh, 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 sigils. That's right. Inazuma sigils. Fudge!
All right, that sucks. I think I'm just gonna put on the compass and walk around and try to find a chest. If I remember correctly, under achievements, I can't remember. There was a group of islands that I still needed to find a bunch of chests at. There we go. Was it not? I thought it was up there somewhere. I guess it was down there. Huh. Weird. I thought it was on one of the other islands. Anyway. Well, we only need three more, so we can definitely find another treasure chest. Uh, let's just go here. I'll whip out the compass and then hopefully we'll be able to track it down, no problem. That final cutscene was nice. I smell rabbit. Hmm. Okay, so those were the two new books. Um, need this sucker. So apparently up there is a chest. Can't remember how these work. Okay, there's nothing nowhere nearby. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I should have activated that. We'll probably launch us up and then get us through the force field. can be just so obnoxious because you overshoot them. That'd be one. The smell of treasure. Strange. Pretty lame. Still down, what? Is there an underground section here? Oh wait, yeah, yeah, there is an underground section here, all right. I forgot where we were for a moment. Because, if I remember correctly, right in here, yep, it drops us down into the tunnel. And there should be like... Oh, damn it, don't tell me that one. 
that I was locking on to. in there what the hell mm. okay we're gonna try it we haven't tried that fight in a while we got our asses handed to us last time we went in there but we were quite a few levels early can't remember where would be like the nearest I think there's one closer, probably. <sighs> this fight. Fuck. A minute? Yeah, there's no way that's happening. Steady as stone. Maybe. Tell me that's it. Oh, fuck me. Come on. There's a second round. Of... Like, I can't. I, I physically cannot beat these guys. God, that sucks. When you barely beat the first round, and then it's like, nah, there's like two more rounds. All right. I'm going to run way the fuck far away from here. So the compass does a point to that dumbass chest. Which why they have a separate chest when it normally just has like the point and then it gives you the rewards when you complete it. Sucks because it's a high level chest. There's so many of these spirits around now. Holy shit. <laughs> it's 
still over that way. Where the fuck is this chest? range of one enemy you always have to fight someone for fuck's sake it keeps finding me over here but it's like for, for what there's nothing here i'll defeat these guys they're a pain in the ass but whatever let's do this leave it all to me no, stop. I love when I point my analog stick directly at the largest enemy nearby, then it just insists on pulling me towards some small no one in the complete opposite direction for some dipshit reason. Time for retribution! Hold on. Let's see if I can use the looking glass, maybe. It was the feather that was here. They gave us a lot of items in this section of the game. Mm, I'm hungry. Let's hunt. No. Well, let's put the compass back on. I swear to God, it's going to keep pointing forward or some shit. No, nope, it's pointing back here. Oh my god! How the fuck did I miss that? Smell of treasure. Strange. Okay, well we got that, unfortunately. It's like the one type of chest that does not give out the item that we're looking for. It has been almost 20 minutes that I've been looking for these three fucking items. We've gotten one. And these things are not that hard to find. But for some reason right now, they are really busting our balls here. <sighs> nope. Come on, man. For fuck's sake. I just need two treasure chests. They're always all over the place in this game. All right, we need to climb up. Tough. 
fuck off. Of course, there's no easy way up. Ah, I could have sworn there was like a point up top or something. Or maybe wind currents. Straight up. Oh my god, how did I miss this one? It's like at the top. And I swear to god, it's gonna be another one of those green chests that's gonna have burnishings in it, isn't it? Some bulbiz like that. this I climbed to the top of this before it's gonna be a green one it's not oh my god and there we go that's the one we needed gave us three and we'll do this as well because fuck all y'all exact thing that you tell me to do and it's just like no go This is a tedious one, holy shit. There we go. It's not even as good as the chest that we found up top. These things useful? Okay. We are finished. We are going to the fucking tree and turn it in the final chests. Or the final sigils. Yes! Begun with this biddy. All right, final upgrade of the Sakura tree. Here we go. It's ironic, the new zone that we get, I was able to blast through that before I was even able to finish this one, which we got like four months ago. Or even more. Complete! Ooh, that's a goldie. Nice. Ooh, and two of those. Nice. Two fates. That's dope. Yes. Hmm. 
Let's go grab that. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Oh, that is. Open the chests. Oh my god. Just a few more chests. And then we'll have that completed and we'll have 100%ed it. Keep forgetting the event. It's a stupid fucking thing. Okay, yeah. We are done. All right. And I think I'm gonna call it here for today. Uh, next week, I believe the next update's gonna be happening on Tuesday, so we're probably not gonna be playing Genshin Impact until Wednesday, since the update always happens during our stream time. So next week, I. Probably will be planning on doing Genshin Impact on Wednesday and Thursday. And then up in, like, starting tomorrow all the way up until then will be nothing but Elden Ring. Uh, we'll probably beat Elden Ring before then, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, thank you everyone for coming out and hanging out on day 632 of streaming in a row. Like I said, tomorrow all the way up until probably wednesday we'll be playing elden ring and then wednesday will wednesday and thursday will play uh, the next update of genshin impact if if that is the correct date indeed and i didn't get that mixed up but uh yeah thank you for coming out and hanging out uh there's a link down below for my twitter where i tweet out every day when i'm online and when i'm playing as well as a link over to my youtube channel where all my previous streams are uploaded and yeah i will catch you guys tomorrow with elden ring if not i will see you guys on next wednesday probably with some more genshin impact see you